Hello, everybody. This is Clementarts with, uh, I'm drawing about animals. It <laughs> doesn't have a name yet. In this little series, I'm going to try to test out something um, I'm actually really passionate about, and that's learning about different animals uh, and drawing at the same time. I have grown up loving animals my whole life. I used to draw them when I was a kid. I actually started thinking, what's an interesting thing to draw in, in general? What, what's popular right now? And then after thinking about Billie Eilish, Avatar The Last Airbender, and other outdated memes, I thought, you know what has never expired? Possums. Everybody loves possums because they're little garbage creatures uh, and they think they're cute. However, I think they're absolutely terrifying. I. I hate possums. I I know this is a very unpopular opinion. They look like little animatronics. They're like animatronic cat wolf creatures with hands. Anyway, so we're gonna learn about them today. I'm gonna learn about something I'm spooked about. I, I just have Wikipedia open here and this is my first time reading over it. So they're the largest order of marsupials in the Western hemisphere not very big and they're really good at surviving. John Smith says it has a head of a swine, tail like a rat, the bigness of a cat. And poetry right there. And they're called Didelphimorphs. They are semi-arboreal omnivores which means they climb around in trees and they eat plants and meat. However there are many exceptions and then it just kind of stops there. <laughs> They have long snouts, a narrow brain case, which means they're they're stupid. Uh, <laughs> just kidding. And a sagittal crest. They have 50 teeth. So it turns out, um, yeah, they are pretty terrifying. They have 50 teeth. You know in that old cartoon Flapjack where uh, they would smile and do those crazy close-ups? really detailed close-ups and they had a million teeth yeah that's like a, a possum but it's like that in real life and they have small incisors which are the front teeth are really small their canines are very large and their molars are tricuspid uh, which I'm just guessing I don't really want to do the research um, I'm pretty sure it means that the molars which are your vac teeth that you use to basically chew gum with um, <laughs> Uh, it has like three points, whereas I think we have two. It either means that or their molars are three teeth away from their cuspids, which actually makes more sense. <laughs> I'm not that smart. I just pretend like I am. And they are flat footed. Get this. Only their back feet have an opposable digit, like a thumb. So they walk around with you know, they have five five toes in the front, and then they have five toes in the back, but they have thumbs only on their back feet. Little, little weirdos. <laughs> and they have prehensile tails. Oh my god. So a prehensile tail is, it's like a monkeys that can grab stuff. You know how monkeys can hang from tree branches? That's, uh, possums can do that. So if you're trying to run, um, they'll just swing around and they'll whip you with their tail like Indiana Jones and pull you in to chew on you with their 50 teeth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the tail and parts of their feet bear scutes. A scoot or scutum is a bony external plate of scale overlaid with horn, as on the shell of a turtle, the skin of crocodilians, and the feet of birds. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, that's crazy. They have like exoskeletons on their feet and their tail. I wonder why. They're like little skeleton fingers and skeleton tails that can wrap around. Little monster. That is kind of cool. I guess I could see why people like them. Uh, like most marsupials, the possum has a forked penis bearing twin glandes. So its penis is a fork. It uses it to eat. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, they're omnivores. They eat meat and vegetation. Uh, what else? What do we got? What do we got? There's water possums? Oh, those look kind of cute. That's so cute! Water possum. 
It's the only living semi-aquatic marsupial. That's cool. It looks like a Pokemon. Um, but we're not talking about that kind of pond. We're talking about opossums. So reproduction and lifestyle. So they have little pouches. A bifurcated vagina. I don't know what bifurcated means. And divide into two branches or forks. Oh. And a divided uterus. So it like has two uteruses? So it has two uteruses. Oh, that's why it has a forked penis. So it has... It could have two sets of babies at the same time. Oh my goodness. And their estrus cycle is 28 days. Dang, that is short. And they're born in the little pouch where they nurse in the little teat and the babies are called joeys. As many as 13 babies can attach to teat. See, there's like 13 nipples because they give birth to a very large amount of young not even all of them can get so like they have more than 13 babies but only like 13 are going to be allowed to survive basically Ugh. survival of the fittest guys natural selection can't can't get the titty you die can't mouth the titty don't get to live in the city that's that's what the possums say oh they only live for two years in the wild? That's so sad. That's so sad. I didn't know they only lived two years. Do people keep these as pets? It says they can live four years in captivity, but like Jesus Christ, imagine bonding with your little animal and then it dies. <laughs> it dies before you can get to have the shamrock shake again at, at McDonald's. That would break my heart. Or the McRib at Big McDonald's. Who knows when they'll come out with that again? I, I act like I'm a big McDonald's fan, but that's the only comparison I can think of. <laughs> that's like two years. Mm, okay, well, that's sad. I, I feel terrible about that. That's like shorter than a rat's lifespan. How much, how long do rats live? It says a brown rat lives for two years. I'm pretty sure I've seen people with pet rats that live longer. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me, let me know. I'm curious. Does anybody have a pet rat? Let me know. I would like to hear your rat stories because I hear they're kind of like dogs. I, I hear rats are really sweet. You can even potty train them. You can just carry them around on your shoulder and and they're they're smart little guys anyway back to possums they kind of just wander around they'll stay in an area as long as food and water's there makes sense me too they occupy abandoned burrows i mean why not no one else is living there just you know let's just take advantage of the situation little hermit crabs they okay here we are here's the famous thing when threatened or harmed they play possum mimicking the appearance and smell whoa of a sick or dead animal it's involuntary oh that's so cute they don't do it on purpose they say it's like fainting they're like oh and then they just, they just pretend to die they have no control when an opossum is playing possum, the animal's lips are drawn back, the teeth are bared, saliva foam around the mouth, that's crazy, the eyes close or half close, and a foul-smelling fluid is secreted from the anal glands. Ew. The stiff, curled body can be messed around with and it won't get up. It regains consciousness after a period of a few minutes to four hours, a process that begins with a slight twitching of the ears. Oh, they're getting cute. <laughs> I'm starting to like them. One of the reasons I hate them is one time I went out of my house and it was at like five in the morning. It was still dark out. I was going to high school. This is when I was in high school. And I was walking out my front porch down a little pathway and a lump shadow was walking in front of me and it hissed at me. It was like, shh. <laughs> And dude, at five in the morning, being like a sophomore in high school, like this sh scared the shit out of me. I don't know, maybe it was a demon. I don't know. Maybe a fin chupacabra was, was in front of my house in my bubble of a gated community I was living in at the time. Um, <laughs> and when it started running away, this like pool of fluid was leaking out from behind it. It was so gross. I did not know what the hell it was. It was just like 
It was as if someone like took a milk jug and just like poured it while they were walking. And it was leaving a trail as it was running away from me. It was so gross. And I was like, what is this? I like hopped over it and I went and I got the hose and I sprayed down the driveway. <laughs> I, was, I was like scared it was gonna stink up the place or something. So nasty. So the, turns out the tail can grip and carry a bunch of leaves or bedding materials to a nest. That's kind of cute. That's how they carry stuff. And I've seen plenty of pictures of this. It's kind of cute. Moms will carry their babies up on their back where they'll they cling onto them. <laughs> Here it is. Threatened possums will growl deeply, raising their pitch as the threat becomes urgent. So it gets louder. It's like, ah! they start deep and get higher. They make a clicking smack noise out of the side of their mouths as they wander in search of a mate. Ugh. It's like nightmarish. Ugh. And the females will repeat the sound in return. Oh, this is kind of cute. When separated or distressed, baby possums will make a sneezing noise. They sneeze like, bitchu, bitchu, to get their mom to come back to them. <laughs> That's adorable. And in return, the mother will make a clicking sound and wait for the baby to find her. Possums eat dead animals, insects, rodents, and birds. They also feed on eggs, frogs, plants, fruits, and grain. They need a lot of calcium for some reason, and so they eat skeletons. There you have it. Without possums, there'd be skeletons everywhere. <laughs> they also eat dog food, cat food, and human food waste. So they're like, they're like mutant raccoons. Like raccoons, ugly, nasty, butthole looking cousin that just eats crack and, and the crumbs off your carpet. Here's a fun fact. I like this one. Many large possums are immune to the venom of rattlesnakes and pit vipers. Really cool. And regularly prey upon these snakes. It's unique to the Didelphini, the ones I've pretty much been talking about. This is cool. So the possums and the crotaline vipers have been suggested to be in an evolutionary arms race, which is a struggle between two competing sets of co-evolving animals. And they keep adapting different traits to basically fight each other. So they keep getting stronger in their own ways. And it's like a competitive evolutionary track. Yeah, I think it's really cool. I think it's really cool. It's like competitive without them even knowing. All right, that's the end of my video. Please tell me if you guys like it. I'm gonna try to make at least a couple videos a week. That's the hope. I'm really new to this thing. Follow me on Instagram if you're interested. I make drawings every day and I really hope you guys enjoy what I'm making here. Like I said, I'm really new. So point out anything you think is wrong with my videos. I don't have much time because I have a full-time job on the side, but my goal and dream here is to be able to do art full-time so I could quit my other job. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Uh, I hope you guys can have some kind of conversations in the comments below and I could kind of pitch in. Please give any kind of criticisms you want. I am invincible to criticism. I actually really like it. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.